Hi guys, I am Gautam Raj from GIV Web. This is our first video tutorial on StatRow. The StatRow allows structure engineers to analyze and design virtual any type of structure through its flexible model environment. Coming to the StatRow. It was designed by Bentley. The website here, Bentley.com. Actually, they had a number of products. You can see them here. And you can all you can buy a Statro software from them, or you can find it somewhere or trial version. Uh, the front view. Uh, actually, we are using the current version of the Statro. Is, is launched on 2008 it was stat pro v8i uh, the interface looked like this one stat pro v8i release 20.07.04 let's design a bare frame on the stat pro for the first class this is the bare frame which is having our uh, nodal loads on the both sides of 4 kN and 8 kN and a UDL of 2 kilo, kN per meter which was 1.5 meters away from the starting point here the width of the beam is 5 meters and the height is 4 meters which have two fixed supports on the both ends of the bay frame Coming to the stat pro, the stat pro icon look like this. You can also find stat pro here in in start man in start stat pro. Let's start with the stat pro. Here the stat pro V eight I, which was the current version which we are using. This is the project task. This was the help topics. These are the latest updates and news from the Stat Pro. These are the recent files from the Stat Pro and license configuration. This was designed by Bentley. And let's go for new project. Here we have four options: space, which is used for 3D design; plane, which is used for 2D design; the floor is for floor design and Truss uh, is for truss design. Uh, coming to the length units on meters and force we are using is kilonewtons in India. Let's hit next. Here, where do you want to go? Uh, it's asking to add beam, add plate, or add solid, and uh, or open a structure wizard which is very useful for the big big designs or uh, big big stretchers and this is stat pro a stat editor which is used for coding simple code if you give the code it will automatically show you the file or brings you the output let's hit finish select add beam finish here we get a graph of 10 by 10 you can increase the graph in snap node beam option go for edit you can increase on right side in this way or you can decrease this one or on the top this way hit ok this is the option to snap node beam uh, I mean to show or hide the graph so let's start with the beam bay frame the height of the bay frame is 4 and width is 5 here we have different op different views this is the front view this is view form I mean z side view so let's select the front view here let's disable the graph so we are in the currently we are in the geometry beam 
let's move to general it is here properties the properties means uh, actually you can define the width and depth of the beam here or the column here let's define let the width be 0 0.3 and 0 0.23 select add close assign to view which means it, it will assign to entire view or you can select a particular beam assign to selected beam option here so let's assign this option to entire view hit assign yes we can ta we can talk about columns in upcoming tutorials let's move to support we can talk about specifications in upcoming tutorials let's go to support let's create a support here we have two fixed supports so add we need to change for node cursor let's select that nodes which we need to add first select this one and select the nodes assign yes here we have two fixed nodes fixed supports let's go to load definitions load cases let's add primary close click on load case add click on sulfate add this one go for nodal loads we have nodal node of 4 add we have another nodal load of minus 8 kN let's add that one and we have a concentrated load of 2 kN on the top as load adds downwards we need to provide a value of negative if the load adds upwards we need to provide a value of positive so it, it is from a distance of 1.5 meters from the starting point and it ends with a distance of 3.5 so the total distance is 2 meters let's add this one close let's assign the self weight to entire view because the self weight will be ap applicable for both beams and columns so let's add this one to entire view assign to view assign yes this one is an order load so let's select select a node b i mean node cursor save let's select a node cursor select the node which we need to add assign to selected node yes so we have the nodal load here let's select another node and assign this one select this node assign to selected node assign yes we have udl on this beam so change the cursor to the beam cursor select the beam assign to selected beam uh, we are assigning this one assign yes so here we have finished almost so let's go for analysis print perform analysis add close this one go to post print define commands analysis results add you can press ctrl f5 or you can go to analyze run analysis save if we are done correctly we will not get any warnings and errors so we get zero warnings and zero errors so we are done successfully you, we can see output file here done this is the output file from the stat which is having all the bending movements and other deflections this one so let's go into post processing okay 
and here you can see bending moment diagrams and other from here thank you for watching my tutorial thank you very much we are from the web thank you